my friends and welcome back to The Witcher 3, the Blood and Wine DLC. In yesterday's video, Geralt competed and won several fistfights eventually, <laughs> or versions of fistfights. I did like the alternate way that Toussaint did it because they have to be unique and I really liked how they did it. Again, it was seemed like they put more thought into the the quest than like go to A and fight B, go to C and fight D. It was it was nice to have a little bit of a change. So anyway, in today's video, first things first, we're going to decorate our house with this new thing that we collected at the end of yesterday's video from Marlene's dowry. And it's a gold stick of joy. I'm not sure Oh, wait. Can it go up here? Yeah, we'll put it there. Because it'll make sense. If if I win Gwent, which I'm, I'm going to reload until I do, then I'm assuming there'll be a third trophy I can put there. That's, that's my assumption just with how things are going. But let's rest for a second. But in today's video, I'm going to go do another game of Gwent somewhere. And then we're going to go back to working on the main quest. And I don't I don't have any plans after that. Maybe we'll go finish working on the statue. Get that all built. Or 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 I could go and work on a new set of Witcher gear. That that could be something that could happen. I wish there was a smidge and more light in this house. Like the windows need to be bigger, but in all reality, they shouldn't be because defensive purposes, you want small slatted windows and not big ones like we're used to, I suppose. Anyway, I'm rambling. But let's see. Can I see my quest markers? I can't. Oh, there's still one of the tourney grounds. Well, let's go do that one. We can find our, our biggest fan might meet us there. <laughs> oh, no, she hasn't found me yet. Where is it? in the other direction. I can follow the dots. She hasn't found me yet. Am I in the clear? I'm my own master. Oh, oh no, she found me. Hi. It's no disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so I need to play the blacksmith. Geralt, his crest the bridge, master of the melee. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. Hmm. Well, why don't I actually, yeah, let me sell some things first. Okay, all sold and repaired as much as I can afford to be anyway. And uh, let's play some Gwent. Care for a quick round of Gwent? Okay, well, I haven't changed my card since last time other than to get the other Marjorone. So let's see how we do this time. Oh, he plays a Skellige deck too. Great, awesome. Okay, we've got a Berserker, that'll be good, because I also have a Marjoram for once. And then let's try getting rid of that one. We've got two decoys. Ooh. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, I got a Spy for once. I have no fancy cards though, oh gosh. Oh, he's got the cow. I don't have my cow anymore. I have Heimdall or Hemdall, but... Uh, uh, um... I want him to keep playing cards. I've got some decoys that I can pull out. Trying to think what card to play. I think I'm gonna play my Scorch the next round and then use it Burna in the third round, maybe. Who should I use now? Hmm. How do I have 10 points? Oh no, I have six points. I have 10 cards, dummy. Mm. Let's see. Oh dear. Herm. I think I'm gonna pass. This is not the greatest of hands, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, bovine defense force. I want it. 
Oh dear. Okay, well we're gonna play our Scorched. And then we're going to play... Oh, it does it for the whole... Hang on. Reduces the strength of all range and siege units to one. Okay. Hmm. So let's put this one down. Oh, ouch, that hurts. Okay, what did I just lose? Oh, I lost my Berserker. That's not the one I meant to play, but crap. That's fine, I got Burna. I can get him back out, no matter what. And I've got my Skellige thing as well. Hmm. And that's Range and Siege. Hmm. Let's try it. Hmm. I could use this. Units only lose half their strength in bad weather conditions. Hmm. Let's try it. Can I can I use it? Oh, it's already active. It's just active in general. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's got 16, so I have to put down more cards. I think I'm gonna have to use Siri maybe to get through. He's only got one card left, but he's going to get two when we go into round three. That's weird. I will pass. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to... I know I can win right now, but I want to play this out to see. Okay, so the Berserker I will pull out. And I put down Marjorone here, which makes it a 10, or 14, that's right. And then I would take that one out, put this one down. And then also put her down again and pull out the other ship. And I won. That was where I was going with everything. I won. First try again. What, what card I get? No, not the painting. Young Berserker. Okay. Hang on. I messed around paintings before I started today, so that's why those keep popping up. Young Berserker, that's this guy. And I've got one. Oh, that would be nice if I got two of them and they actually both popped out and then I could use Ermion or Mardrone on it. So let's get rid of this one. Although, if I play someone who has a Skellige deck, it'd be better to have the melee versus the war longships, but... That's it's not important right now, <laughs> because I don't know who has Skellige decks and who doesn't. Okay, so wine is sacred. Let's go to the fast travel point. Ooh. This was the quest we got after we did the toy shop quest with Regis. And I need to go report to the Duchess about your hunt for the beast. This is going to be interesting. 
I'm not sure how well this is gonna go, but I'll save and then probably reload if I mess it all up. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Thank, thank you. Where is she? Okay, she is in here, so let's quick save. Since we just won Gwen's first try again. I feel like I'm getting better at Skellige, but ooh, I don't know about that for sure. Your grace, I have Palace is secure. Mm. And what of the funeral preparations? As your grace wished, the deceased will be buried with the highest honors. And our dearly departed Milton de Perak Peran shall posthumously receive the order of Adamata. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Um. Hmm. Found the beast, but that's it. Case just got complicated. I mean, it is complicated, but I don't know how much I need to tell her that. So let's try found the beast, but that's it, because it's technically accurate. Found the beast of Beauclair. Just couldn't kill it. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. <laughs> Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batue. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Hmm. Go ahead, let them go to their deaths. No, that's probably not a good idea. And I would prefer if you would stay out of it. This guy's a kind of a jerk. I mean, he's probably just doing his job, but he's kind of a jerk. So, yeah, stay out of it. Whoa, this is work for a witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. <laughs> Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Well, <laughs> this is no common monster. Let's start there. It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, <laughs> impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> no. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Well, I want to find him and try and talk to him. Yes, that would probably be um, the only option we have because I don't think it's like Geralt can beat them. Geralt's amazing, but he's not them. Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. 
Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ha. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Hire vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Uh, an innocent woman's been abducted. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? Free the vampire's lover? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. Soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Pop up! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the saint -La -Tour. No, that, That's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. saint -Réal. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Hmm, no, it kind of, I think I said in yesterday's video that reading the notes and the letters that the blackmailer seems pretty embedded at the court to be able to spy on all these people and tell them like, oh, like he's gonna be the hare. Oh, this person's gonna be here. So they're in your court probably like they work there or you're friends with them or something so anyway this specific wine tell me more saint Real, never heard of it it's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it as i said it is only ever served to the ducal family didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken <laughs> in matters of wine benoit is never mistaken if he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. What do you mean? We are you coming with me? Wait. Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. <laughs> but I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. 
For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? I feel like you need to have an actual pseudonym because you look like the... You, you're still gonna look like your, yourself and Anna Henrietta is your name so shouldn't you have it anyway it's fine are you sure let's go why not I mean I have other things to do but they can wait right <laughs> yeah ready to go excellent give me a moment I must don something more appropriate and concealing then we will be off okay This vampire. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Geralt! Why do you flee? I'm not fleeing! Witcher, come back! You're to protect her highness! Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. They paid me to do. That's it. Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Stay back, Your Grace. We shall see to this. Back, you beast! Be gone! Done for. They were fortunate Thank you. To you saved our lives. Hooray! Hooray! And I, and I leveled. Okay, Birch, let's go. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in Ortusa. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonrial stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant, could be the steward, could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Well, we're, we're here, at least the map said I'm here, and I've been here before. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Hmm. Here for an inspection. <laughs> but I want to talk to him too. Well, let's, let's see if we can talk to him first. I imagine we'll get to inspect things later. Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. 
Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, Witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. I want to talk about San Real. I am at your service. So who's got access to the wine? Let's start there. The San Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. I see you've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Sonreal. The workers assist me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers, again, assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. So... I feel like he's setting himself up to be like blamed for all this. <laughs> okay, so how how is the wine transported then? Maybe maybe it got robbed that way. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison, guards who have served here for years, and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions. I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace, how am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is the Sonreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. Okay, search the wine cellar we with Anna Henrietta. What if Fabricio is blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. Mm -hmm. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. You read the wine register. Maybe, there we go. Mm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Okay, let me see if I can... Did I get the book in my inventory? Maybe? <laughs> Probably not, but I can check anyway, right? Because there's so many books to read. Benoit of Toussaint. Hmm. I don't... I think so. Huh, okay. I don't think I got anything. Can I read it? I can't. I just clicked on it. What's this over here? 
the history of S to S. Well, I guess we'll one more book to read. What is this over here? Everloose 1269 vintage. Everloose. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. More wine I can sell or drink. <laughs> Barrel tap. What is that? Wooden hammer. Um, let's let's save. I haven't saved in a bit. Excuse me, Duchess. SS twelve sixty nine vintage. Est est. Think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world, Castel Ravello is famous for it. Okay, so where am I in the world? Big scheme of things. Okay. So, I have been here before. I think I rescued someone and, and I was brought down here afterwards, maybe? Or no, Castel Ravello is one of the ones that I... You know, it was, it was Coronata and Vermentino. So not Castel Ravello. Vermentino's over here. Hmm, I think I just came... Oh, I played the Herbalist and Gwent. I'm, I'm, it's, it's slowly coming back to me. <laughs> Very slowly. So, what's this book? Short History of Pomino. Maybe? There we go. What's this one? Fiori Fiorano 1272 Vintage. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palette of his. Okay. Um, Pomino 1273? Got Pamino over here. Hmm. I thought I saw a loot, but must not have been. I'm trying to guess which one will be last. <laughs> eh, let's try the oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. San Real. Well. Didn't, didn't guess it right, so well. <laughs> oh, wait, that's... San Real. Barrels are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. Yeah, okay. I realized that after I said that. So maybe this one is not it? Because there's one over here. 1270. San Real. 1270 vintage. That's the wrong year. Keep looking. Okay. So, was there one over here that I missed? No, it's just kind of telling me where to go. And then the last one is over here. So it's gotta be this one right here. There we go. Right here, 1269, what now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Okie dokie, I just did this yesterday. Full. This one is full. This one's full too. Full. Come on. Come along. This one's full too. Okay. How about that one? Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sanria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Oh, I looted all that stuff on the way. Okay. Well, darn, we have to taste some wine. Let's start over here. Ready. Step aside. So? Those hints of spice. Mm, distinctive. This is Son Real. Oh, okay. Are we going to do this on each one? angle I'm 
we are gonna do this on each one, okay. Revolting, bitter plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But your grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Hmm. You really thought nobody would find out? Obviously he thought no one would find out. So who did you sell the wine to? That's the most important bit. Who do you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Huh. So yeah, you really thought no one would find out? Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool. Very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Hmm. How did you deliver the wine to this guy? Wine itself? How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men, the kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there, they transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it, have it ready to deliver. Oh, really? How oddly convenient. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabricio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. Mm, I'll I'll be back soon. Let's 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 pause for a second to see if it's a new quest or if it's a continuation. Need a minute. Make haste. We await only you. Okay, tell Damien when you're ready for the ambush. I guess it's all part of the same thing. But... We would not have made it far without your grace. The oh. important bit is yet to come. <laughs> Roach is running over some people in the background. Oh. My men stand ready. Say the word. 
Uh, be back soon. I meant to click Need on Henrietta. On Make Henrietta. Haste. Let's try that again. Witcher, hurry. Hurry. So, the guy sold a barrel of wine. I mean, wine is sacred, but, like, it's a barrel of wine. It's not like he should have his head chopped off, but I don't know. Maybe I'm forgetting something. But anyway, let's talk to Damien and actually do this this part of the quest. My men stand... Okay, we can start. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Okay. Relax. Now we wait. Ah, our favorite vintner. Did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Had no reason to trust me. We did what we came to do. That's what matters. I mean, he didn't have a reason to trust you. He doesn't know you, although his boss hired you, so that should imply a level imply a level of trust. But it's fine. I mean, Geralt's used to it, right? <laughs> well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. <laughs> At any rate, I see the effort you put forth, and I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. She's here? Wait, she here? I hope you did not think I would leave this to you alone, especially when every hour could prove essential. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. 
once again. Who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it. <laughs> Wait. If he doesn't wish to speak, he needn't. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? <laughs> Hmm, only use this kind of bait as a last resort. I mean, I feel like we're bluffing, but let's have a moment where the arrow, it's on his left side, which is where your heart is, and I feel like he should be uh, more more almost dead than he is, but it's fine. Uh, great idea. I feel like we're bluffing, so I'm going to go with it. <laughs> sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he's all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. R rope Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let them! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! <laughs> so where were these barrels going? Barrels. Where were you going to take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. Of that course. One. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true. You must believe me. Okay, when well, then, who hired you? I'm guessing the Horwitz guy, right? Who hired you? He... he'll kill me! Oughta be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Cintrian. That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Cintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Cintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Mm, I, I will. I'll join you there. Unfortunately, I'll join you. We'll meet there. We shall await your arrival. I say unfortunately because a I want to poke around here a little bit. There's lots of loot down there that I can use to sell things, so I can make more Witcher gear. And b uh, unfortunately because I'm at time for today. So tomorrow we're gonna pick back up here. We'll loot. We'll read some character updates, and then eventually <laughs> we'll go and join Anna Henrietta at the guard post in the port district and see what happens next. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video. Who's asleep?